Hello again, YouTubers. 24-7 back here again with another Pokemon opening video for you here on Pokemon Cards 24-7. For today's video, we'll be opening up some virtual packs on the Pokemon trading card game online. As you may have seen in a previous video of ours, we opened 10 virtual packs of Triumphant. We did get an Alpha Lithograph, but no Primes, which is pretty disappointing. So hopefully we'll have some better luck here, although I was really hoping to get some of those Primes that are in Triumphant, as some of the best Primes that are out there are in that set. So for today, we got 10 packs of Unleashed and 1 pack of Undaunted. So let's go right into the packs here. We'll set stand for last, we'll actually do the Undaunted one first, just kind of get out of the way. All you gotta do is click Open Pack and see what you get. And we've got, looks like more cards than usual here. Togepi, Professor Elm's Training Method, nice. Togetic, Ampharos, Flaffy, Energy Returner, Blissey, Bill, Pikachu, Interviewer's Questions, Lightning Energy, Lantern, Togekiss, Raichu, Chansey, Switch, Mareep, Chinchow, and Engineer's Adjustments. I have no idea why we got... Oh, it actually says Preconstructed Deck down here in the corner. So perhaps we actually got a full deck. I didn't realize that, but that appears to be the case. So I'm going to guess that we got more than one copy of some of these. Yeah, so we got four Togepi's, for example, there. So I did not realize that at all. So that's kind of neat. Helps you give you a starting point then. Because I actually traded someone on the channel just the other day for a... The... What's it called? The red one. Um, whatever the deck with Embor in it. I traded him a beta code for the pre-constructed deck code, I thought I'd be able to use those cards then in the player versus player closed beta, but apparently you can only use those against the computer players in the league settings. So I was kind of disappointed with that, but should have done my research a little bit more, I guess, beforehand, but at least this way we got some decent supporters now. We got two bills, we got two interviewers' questions, two engineers' adjustments, and two Elms' training method. So that's a good start for our trainer base, at least, so we'll be able to build something halfway decent hopefully after all these packs. So then on to our 10 packs of Unleashed. And here it does say Booster, 10 cards, HG SS2, the second set of Heart Gold, Soul Silver. So these should have just 10 cards per pack then. And starting off here we got Stantler, Minoon, Apom, Larvitar, Poliwhirl, Primeape, Cheerleaders Cheer, Remoraid, Spiro, and Life Herb. So a couple more trainers. And most good decks, you're going to have a good chunk of trainers. So, Well, some people may just collect the cards and like the artwork and stuff like that and not play the card game. They may hate getting trainers. But if you're a player, trainers are one of the most important things you need to build strong decks. So I'm always happy when I see multiple trainers, especially good solid ones within a pack. So here we got another Stantler. Lantern. Magmar, another interviewer's questions, a reverse hollow carnivine, you can kind of tell the, kind of waves the shininess of the foil on there. It can be hard to pick up sometimes, but. Tauros, Remoraid, Cherum, Rosalia, and another carnivine. The rare in that pack was the lantern. Another Stantler, so that's the first card in the first three packs. Kind of weird. Horsey, Lavatar, Turtwig, Super Scoop Up, Reverse Hollow Primeape, Dual Ball, Tropius, Plus Power, and Fero. The rare Fero and the Reverse Primeape, both rares. Alright, finally avoided a Stantler, looks like. We got Dual Ball, Horsey, Super Scoop Up, Magmar, Onyx, our first Prime, Ursaring. And you can see the, they got like spotted foil all in there. So the different kind of foils, they put different graphics to them to spice up their appearance a bit. Another Plus Power, Vulpix, Rosalia, and an Elf Lithograph. Very nice pack. So there you can see our two rares. Very nice. Six packs to go. We got Larvitar, Weedle, 
mischievous. Firo, Duoball, Spiro, Apom, Interviewer's Questions, Golbat, and Cherubi. Chinchow, Numel, Mankey, Primeape, Natu, Reverse Hollow Dual Ball, nice, Energy Returner, Larvitar, Zubat, and Judge. So a few trainers in that pack, nice. Four to go. Life Herb, Beldum, Mankey, Zubat, Natu, Ursaring, Ryalu, Interviewer's Questions, Reverse Hollow Judge, nice, and Grotal. And the rare in there was the Ursaring. Three more. Another Elf Lithograph. A rare candy, nice. Even with the different rules, still a good card to have. Weedle, Mischievous, Grotal, Cedra, Reverse Hollow Magmortar, Apom, Spiro, and Cherubi. Poliwag, Larvitar, Reverse Hollow Magmar, Mischievous, Roserade, think that, I guess that's just a regular rare, not a hollow. War Turtle, Super Scoop Up, Beldum, Zubat, and I think our third judge, nice. And on to our final virtual pack. Another Stantler, another Larvitar, another Super Scoop Up, Pupitar, Torkoal, Poliwag, Apom, looks like the Poliwag's reverse, Remoraid, uh, Buizel, and Golbat. And the rare in there was the Torkoal. So that's all of our virtual packs. So now we can see our full card collection here. Let's see, it's not familiar with all the functioning here. But before I open those packs, I just did a deck builder test with Grass and Fire. This was is what auto-generated. It actually didn't give me any trainer cards, which I found interesting. So apparently the computer isn't set up to realize that trainers are pretty good cards in general. But let's see, so we can try new. Go to Deck Wizard again. I'd like to see what it gives us now if we choose Grass and Enter End, or Grass and Fire again. Let's try try Elect. Let's see. Let's try Grass and Electric, just because I think the pre-constructed deck we got had a lot of Electric in it, so should have give us some more options. I think. Okay, so this time it actually did give us a decent number of trainers. Looks like it gave us for Grass just one Rosalia and one Grass Energy. So, pretty interesting there. We got a 4-2 Lantern line. Let's see. Zoom in a bit over here for you. 4-1 uh, Magneton line. A 4-3 2 line of Ampharos. A 4-3 line of Raichu. And let's see what trainers we got here. Looks like we got two Pokeballs. Super Scoop Up, Plus Power, Life Herb, Energy Returner. And then for supporters, we got Cheerleaders Cheer, one Judge, one Engineer's Adjustments, one Elm's Training Method, and one Interviewer's Questions. And actually, only 18 Lightning. I say only just because the computer usually gives me a lot more energies than that. Well, most of the decks I've run in the last couple of years have had at most 12 to 15 energies in general, so a lot of people who are newer don't realize the power of the trainers, and they think they need a lot of energies. So some people are new to the game, Sometimes make decks with no trainers and like 30 energies and like five different energy types and but yeah so that's not a horrible deck for the amount we have I'm sure I can find plenty of things to change so I'm improve it namely the trainers that are being used or not used but perhaps I'll make another video in the near future here where I'll show you what I construct out of what I got out of a total of I guess 21 booster packs and one pre-constructed deck but that'll do it for today's video so subscribe if you haven't. You can get email alerts of all our future videos. Send us your friend requests. We accept them all. Give us a big thumbs up if you're excited for the new Pokemon trading card game online. Comment below and let us know what you think of the online atmosphere now for the card game. I thank you for watching and I'll see you next video.